We're out in the shop today. We're going to do a little wrenching on our TRX4 Blazer. We blew the servo out of it yesterday. And um, we went to my local Harvey shop today. A shout out to Mark out at Cochran's RC. We got us a high torque 400 metal gear servo, metal uh, Traxxas metal servo arm, and we got the BEC assembly. So we are going to try to get that installed here and uh, see what happens. All right, so as you can see, uh, we've converted our body here to a magnet mount. So I like the, the you know the simplicity of just popping it on and off. And um, what I did is took double magnets, just blue taped them in there. Double magnets here on the mounts, and uh, it works pretty good. So. All right, so we got this interior that. Uh, I've cut slots in it so I can remove it when needed. And this is one of those times. So just a cheap little interior panel that you can put in. I think I bought it on eBay for pretty cheap. So throw that over there. And uh get to the front here I think I'll turn this thing around you can see my little this is a um, 3d printed um, bench stand for the TRX fours I bought that on eBay too and it's perfectly cut out to line up with the uh, screws on the bottom so it sits right on there but let's get into the front end of this thing we got to get the servo out so I just want to make sure my toolbox nearby here. I had to turn the heater on out here because it's cold, mid Michigan. We are out in the garage here with the door open because I got my golden retriever outside here. He likes to sit outside and wait for my wife to get home from work. So I just got to check on him every once in a while, make sure he's still sitting out here. Hey buddy. Yeah, he's still sitting out there. Sits out there every day. He waits for her to get home. Alright. Servo horn. That was right there. I should have brought my glasses out here so I could see what I'm doing. Um, let me get a little... I'm guessing that's a 1.5 screw. It looks pretty small up on the servo arm. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, so. Oh, is it loose? I think it's a two. It might be a two. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to note where that servo position is. It looks like it's lined up straight ahead here, so I don't want to. lose track of the orientation I should get me a little parts bin down here magnetic parts bin we haven't done a wrenching video in quite some time but I haven't had any real breakages in a long time so um, things have been going pretty good for my RC's for the most part okay that's gonna look me a 2.5 it looks like I uh, probably should break out the drill but uh, 
There's only four, so. I'll just do them by hand. This, I'm telling you, I'm really happy with this rig. Um, I put these big 2.2 uh, mudders, um, crawling tires on it, and they're super soft, super grippy. They came with the rims mounted. Bought them off Amazon for like 35 bucks. Didn't expect a damn thing out of them, but I'm telling you, they grip anything. This thing crawls anything. Um, pretty impressive. I, I really enjoy it. I did not see myself as a crawler type uh when i got into this hobby <laughs> i did not i uh i like my felony and i like my udr and my max you know i like the speed and so i just i don't know i got hooked on youtube i guess watching guys crawl with these things and and they look so realistic and so uh i pulled the trigger on this thing and then, boy, I couldn't be more happy with it. This is the first really part failure I've had, and it's probably my own doing because I put these big tires on. And uh, it's probably, and they lasted. I've had these tires on for four or five months. And then, so they've lasted a while. The servo did. Um. So I can't I can't complain too much about it. Alright. There's our smoked servo. I'm probably missing a screw down underneath there. Yep. Alright, so we gotta get to the wiring and that's where I'm really gonna need my glasses. So let's take a time out. I'm gonna get some eyeglasses in. Trace this wire into the receiver box. We're going to open that up and then we'll get going on that. Alright, so this wire is right here. Boy, they got her packed tight down in here. So I'm going to undo these covers. Um, this little Milwaukee, it's a cat's ass too, by the way. This thing, the battery runs forever on this thing. I hardly ever have to charge it. Those little magnetic tips on there, it works out great. All right. This one looks bigger. Well, how I figured I blew my servo. I was crawling around here yesterday and a little track in the garage that I made. And um, I went to move forward it would go forward backward and then just nothing on the steering wheel absolutely nothing so that was it all she wrote okay now it's a matter of <laughs> tracking which blue wire what is it uh should be one right channel one is empty on this one channel one is empty what is it? Uh, one to steer, two to something else. What's the saying? But I'm guessing this must be number two for steering on this. Well, we're about to find out because I gotta trace this. I think it is. I think it is. Let's pull these out so I can see what's going on here. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing here without my big head in the way. Um. There's a couple little zip ties it looks like in here that I need to... Those aren't zip ties, actually. I need to get a little screwdriver so I can move some things around in here. 
Man, they really packed these wires in here tight. Holy cow. Just gotta figure out which one I'm following. They're all red and black. <laughs> all red and black wires. Every one in here. And you think they could have came up with some different colors. Alright, so this one right here this is our servo right here okay let's dig inside the box they got it really packed in here try not to nick any of these wires all right so it's this one right here all right It's this wire right here in number two, just like I said. All right, that should be it. God, a lot of these wires scares the shit out of me because I am not an electronics guru by any means. Putting this BEC and all that kind of stuff in here, I'm a little worried. <laughs> there's our burned up servo you know this has I thought it was going to have a plastic servo horn stock this came this looks like a metal that's a metal servo horn on there I was told these were all going to be plastic so maybe I got <laughs> the upgrade well, I went and bought an extra one, so um, it almost looks like this is the upgraded one that's on here. I guess I'll leave it on. So we'll put this on the new servo. Interesting. All right, we'll set the set that aside. All right, boy, look at the mess. I'm gonna really have to work at tucking the stuff back in here all right so this BEC receiver goes in here as well and I knew they have a kit that has a bigger cover but I saw somebody that actually did this conversion and this stock cover still works so I'm gonna bank on that Let's uh, get out this expensive servo. Um, $100. $100 for this thing. That's crazy. And I really don't complain too much because, I don't know, some of the parts. I, I get a lot of little knickknacks and parts and stuff to upgrades. And they really don't cost that much. So I don't complain too much about it. But I knew when the servo was going to go. I knew the servo would go out on this truck eventually with these tires. I knew it would. It was a matter of time. And I don't I, mean, I don't even bash mine that hard. You know, as far as I don't take it to any tracks or anything like that. I just make little courses around here. Crawl on. I'd like to go to some professional competitions and check it out, you know. All right. Now, let's see that servo horn. Right. Go like that. Let's swap it over, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Oh, I think Loctite. I'm guessing probably gonna have to put some Loctite in this. This was not in there very tight. Yeah, there's Loctite in that screw. Mm. Yeah, these are a little sideways here. Let's 
see if we can maybe this let me get my glasses on so I can see the splines on here and see if they line up so I don't feel like it you know what yeah they look like they're the same size so hate to wrap on it but I wonder if I put a little grease on that to slide it on there a little better let me get my just a touch for So I'm not galling the metal up here. There we go. Money. Money, money. Okay. All right, so we greased up the splines and it slid right on there. So hopefully I got this lined up right. go something like right. I gotta look under it here and see if I got the orientation right on the servo I might have it in backwards Well, that's going to work, I think, dandy. Get my fingers in there to get the damn gimmick back on. Now, the question is... The question is, does this go above or below? Hmm? Uh, there's my screw. Does it go like this? And then like this? Let's get it started here. Front end alignment for sure. All right. It's going to need a front end alignment. That's for sure. If that was a real vehicle, man. You'd be at the front end alignment shop for sure. But it looks like it's going to be okay here. Okay, um, before I screw that thing down, we gotta get this fed through, back through the air. Let's see, it goes like that. 
Okay. Back down through here. Alright, so now we get to the technical stuff. Okay. We've got to get this BEC kit because that. You know, before we do that, we want to screw these down. That servo requires more power to run, so it can't run off the standard electronics. You got to put in this battery something BEC, whatever BEC stands for. You got to put in this thing so it taps into the, the battery more to get more power to run it. I guess that's how it works. But from everything I read and watched, this uh, servo is really going to help this crawler. Because it did struggle a little bit with, you know, you could hear it struggling with the uh, big tires on the front. So this will, I'm sure this unit will snap it right to a lot better. I'm just he's glad it was, the servo was easy to get to. Of all my RC vehicles that I have, um, and I have a few, I got the Arma Felony, I got the Atraxxus UDR, LMT Gravedigger, I got the Traxxas Max with the wide kit, this Blazer and a couple small trail trucks. The first servo I've had to replace on anything. Yeah, so got pretty fortunate. All right, now we got to figure this electronic stuff out here. All right, so what we got to do here is we got to take this new BEC uh, unit, and what I found out too is using a light channel one, channel one, there's two slots for channel one. There's one for channel two, one for three, and one for four. All right, so that's why I was wondering that. So what we gotta do is take this adhesive, um, attach that to the back of this. I'm gonna put it over by the heater for a minute, heat that up a little bit. Put it on the back here. All right, and then we're gonna put it in there once we start to install. Um, yeah, this is gonna have to go, let's see. So what we gotta do here, this red lead has gotta go under the battery tray to this red lead right there. Alright, in the event anyone wanted to see how I crammed everything in there, 
a um, couple zip ties some recesses around here we push this down into and then uh, the cover uh, seems to fit I just want to make sure we're good and sealed because I don't want any water to get in there so uh, I think we're good to go ahead and fasten that down and uh, we'll give it a whirl here Hopefully this sandwich, hopefully this works. I am not a big fan of doing these electronic projects, but I guess the more I do them, you know, I dive into these damn RCs and think I can't do something. I mean, I worked on, I work on real life hot rods, you know, real cars. So, but I know who to uh, <laughs> think of a real car. I know who to contract out to if I don't want to like uh, if I need to wire the dash or something I'm probably not going to do that myself with these little RC's man you got to do it so good thing is there's a lot of instructional tutorials out there YouTube wherever you get your knowledge from then that's how I learn the best usually is uh, watching somebody else do it all right, I think we're sealed here. I think we're sealed. That's tight. That's tight. Okay. Well, it's time for the big test here. Let me get a battery over here. I like these uh, Adventure 5000 Gen's Ace. 2s works just fine for these I don't need anything more than 2s oh. all right so I'll get my controller okay we'll turn that on big moment here Okay, let's see. Let's put it up on the stand. These tires are so big, it's almost hitting when it's on the stand. I could have used another inch or two on that stand. There goes my controller. All right. Woo! The servo horn, the alignment's off. I gotta. And we're at dead nuts on this, so I think we're gonna have to line up the horn one spline over. Boy, she really turns too. Look at that. I gotta get it up off the ground a little bit. I've got a wobbly tire back here. the lug nuts loose I don't know all right well everything works this servo's quick but we need a front end alignment let me see well maybe I can trim it up with that but it's really off on the on the dial here so I might go back in there and move that over I might have to move that over um, that horn might have to come over one more spline yeah I think it does I really don't want to do that but can it is corrected on the dial here but the servo you can see it remember I said it needs a front end alignment <laughs> We need a front end alignment. I can temporarily fix it right here, but 
I think it's going to need a front end alignment. All right, that's it, folks. Next uh, test will be on the crawler course. All right, we got it back out here on the makeshift uh, test track in the garage. And that servo is just an absolute beast. This thing is, I'm telling you, this crawler is something else. So the realism is, I think, what I like. The articulation of the suspension is real. Pretty impressive. So the steering is way more responsive. Look at that, it doesn't even, it's not even working hard. Let's see if we can do it without um, locking out the diffs. I'm gonna put it in just standard four wheel drive here without the lock diffs. Still can do it. Well, a little hung up there. There we go. Impressive, Traxxas. Impressive. Well, sounds like my dog's after something in the backyard here. So, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned, subscribe, like our videos, and uh, we'll get some more outgoing uh, snowmobile season. So, we got some snowmobile videos uh, wrenching coming up. Take care, everyone. Have a great holiday season and a Merry Christmas.